Let's consider the following problem. On the same side of a straight line are three circles. I've arbitrarily chosen the straight line to be the x-axis. A circle with radius 7 inches is tangent to the line that's red, and I've arbitrarily chosen the x-coordinate to be 0. The other two circles are congruent, meaning they have the same radius of the larger circles, and each is tangent to the line and the other two circles. You can see, for instance, blue is tangent to the line and the other two circles, as is green tangent to the line and the other two circles. If you draw this to scale, you'll see that the radius in question, find the radius of the congruent circles, is approximately 30. Let's investigate, however, what it is exactly. So the equation of the circle that is tangent to the x-axis has x-coordinate 0 and radius 7 <clears throat> is given here. The other two circles, in order for them to be tangent to the x-axis and tangent to each other at the y-axis, are given as the second and third equations. The difference is the second equation has x minus r. That's yielding the blue circle. And the third one is x plus r, yielding the green circle. Now, if we move the slider of r, that's what's unknown, you can see that when r gets down to about 20, it clearly doesn't satisfy the condition that these two circles are tangent here or here. This, these three point of tangencies remain, and this point of tangency remains. We just need to get these two point of tangencies. So we can move our closer to 30. Now, this picture right here is the same picture. What I'm going to do is simply focus in on that point of tangency. So let's just zoom in on the point of tangency. And we can see that the radius is too big so that they're not tangent there. So what I can do is make it a little bit smaller. A little bit smaller. And now what I can do actually is zoom in on the scale of the slider. And we can actually zoom in on this point some more. And see, aha, uh -huh, they're not quite tangent. And it turns out, it seems, that as R is 28 they're exactly tangent. Well, this doesn't come as a surprise. If we get rid of these and get rid of the definition of R. I need to put that back for a second. If we put it back at 28, or close to 28 so that we can see the picture. If we draw in this triangle here, the hypotenuse is R plus 7. This side over here is R minus 7, and this side is R. So now, if we write the equation using the Pythagorean theorem r squared plus more time r squared I like my r there we go plus r minus 7 squared equals r plus 7 squared and we solve for r r is 28 so if we then again set r is equal to 28 we get back to the original picture